This is a story about peace. This is a story about victory. When I see this, I almost well up. Apollo 8 saved the year, 1968. Saved it. These are three astronauts. They were in space, going to the moon and back at the end of December, during Christmas, okay? Christmas holiday, everybody's home, they're in space. Christmas Eve. They pull out the Bible and they read, in turn, the first 10 verses of Genesis. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Then they sign off. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Namaste. I'm a musician and also a company director. Um, I wanted to show you this video because I actually created a song that I posted and uh, it was on Facebook. Uh, now, what's remarkable about it is that I created 30 albums between last Christmas in 2033, Christmas Eve, I started composing and I did 30 albums. Um, I shared this on Facebook. So it's not so much remarkable that I created so many albums between um, the Christmas Eve of last year and August uh, this year in 2024. It's that, as you have seen, there are exactly 55 years uh, between this uh, event of uh, the US space program and NASA and uh, the actual start of my producing music albums. So I don't know if you noticed the time code, but uh, this is uh, actually a submix. It's music that I recognize as uh, highly pleasing and uh, I really wanted to do uh, a mix uh, about it and, and publish it. So that's how it occurred. But what's striking is that when I decided to go to my computer and edit it, I noticed that the mix enters at uh, 15 minute 50 and uh, the entry exits at 15.55. So I notice, but uh, I still uh, work on my music and uh, the time comes that uh, the mix is ready and uh, everything is good to go. I produce a video with AI like I do usually and I actually post it. And uh, what strikes me again is the, uh, it's again the time code. Uh, it's uh, published uh, precisely at 4.44, uh, which are uh, representing symbolically the three A's of Namaste. So I'm actually Jewish and uh, I talk about this to my rabbi. I uh, send him this message and uh, it says that uh, here's the mix of the confirmation of the victory because that's what I think symbolically happened. Um, I found yesterday in a playlist, it enters at 15.50 and finished to enter at 15.55. I made a submix out of it this morning and posted it at 4.44. Uh, uh, what symbolizes the three A's in Namaste, my artist names, and confirms 30 as my 30th albums, uh, like a being in the, the, the Brit, the, the union of the Jewish people, the chosen people. So it's uh, the third uh, song actually of my 31st album, uh, this uh, submix, and uh, it's called uh, Incidentally Jerusalem. I didn't do it on purpose. It was done and named before that. 
Uh, so I say that's not uh, invented and uh, in perfect synchronicity and it's called uh, Victory, this song. So the story doesn't end here. Uh, actually, uh, I'm pretty amused and excited about this, of course. So uh, I am also a visual artist. I create a meme. Uh, I call that, but it's a meme. And uh, uh, I make fun of the oligarch, uh, uh, um, you know, point of view that uh, it's almost what we reach as of my start, but in our niche, but uh, uh, also kind of symbolically. But especially, uh, it's like with the Oli, the way of uh, springing above above these uh, these realms. So uh, I, I decide to post this meme, and uh, again the the time code is uh, is striking. Uh, yeah, it's quite funny. So as I said, the conjunction doesn't end there. Uh, it's uh, actually uh, the day is uh, Hoshana Raba, one very important day of the holiday of Sukkot. And uh, <clears throat> according to this text, uh, we have uh, explained uh, in the commentary of uh, Haftarah, which is the end of Shabbat, uh, that uh, the war of Gog and Magog, uh, according to certain uh, point of views, will uh, have uh, happened during that month of the Jewish calendar, Tishri. And uh, there's a Midrash that uh, says, so it's written for a long time ago, that uh, the defeat of Gog will have uh, happened at that date precisely, that uh, holiday of Hoshana Raba, uh, that day uh, today when I published this, uh, this video which uh, uh, the conception of Gog and Magog would be the antithesis of the um, teachings uh, symbolized by the Sukkah. So the fall of Gog at the end of Sukkot represents this, uh, the victory of the ideology of the Sukkah on uh, the doctrine, on its doctrine. So it's a pretty good sign, I think. So here is it for you, the victory.